Well, hey everybody, it's Steve at Thousand Year Home. So my video on the producer's pride, I got several comments that people want me to do just how I did the clamps because they're not squaring up for them. So without further ado, let me rotate. So this is the clamp video that I'm gonna do. So let's, let's take a look. So this is how I did it. So there's my door panel. And you'll see that the side panels, right? For the for the roof comes straight off now you could turn this where the clamp is out and then the roof is that way it would make the roof too big this way and that clamp wouldn't fit so that's uh, let's just start right there in the front uh, almost all the clamps are in the same place these are big clamps if you take a look see there's a big radius and a big radius with a big bolt so I did that all the way around so in these corners, this is where it gets getting people, I think, goofed up. Because if this was unloosed and I didn't have the roof, I could uh, run the clamp out that way and then turn the roof out and it would be that far, too far out that way. And so uh, there's the right way they turn in the corners. And I just picked that spot, you know, 18 inches up off the ground. Originally, they, I didn't have them just a little more than hand tight so i tightened them hand tight it hit the nylon lock nut then i turned it enough just so these were stiff but i could still uh wiggle it right so there we go so there's all of the corners i hope you all can see that nearly all of them are a, a good solid 90 and i'm from the inside and this is the roof panel one with the angle and these are the, the, you know, this, the regular panels without the angle. So big clamps all the way around on that. Okay, so you're going to build all of the box first. And like I say, don't tighten, tighten these. Just, you know, so they're snug, so the wind won't blow it around. Uh, also, uh, perpendicular, uh, you know, just right in a row. Um, there we go, down to that. So that's where all of those were. <laughs> Come on, little sweetie. So I'm not done in here. I've got to build a coop, but this is just for the run part. So now you've got all of these panels here done. Let's talk about the roof. So the first thing is, is the roof has uh, a different clamps, two different clamps, one with a big radius and a little radius. And then the bolts are shorter on the roof. See, they're shorter bolts. So all the way around. The middle part has the little clamps. Both of these radiuses are little. And so when I did the roof, I snapped in the lock uh, rods into both sides. I made sure that the welded clamps would fit. And then I went ahead and just set it up in there. Uh, don't do it with your animals in here. Uh, I did, but I got lucky because if, uh, if I had missed, it would fall down. It would have hit my chickens, but uh, I'm a big, strong man. It worked out. So you'll notice that the roof drops inside. And so when you first get this, if these aren't all the right distance, right? One of the clamps might um, be way over or one in, even in. That in one would be dangerous, right? So mine wasn't perfectly square when I put it down. So I did have to push these out and adjust them a little bit. And ultimately, I ended up with not a perfect 90 over on one end. And that's because I started in this corner. I had the roofs. And then I, I pushed it all so that all of these clamps would set down. And then I tightened too. I tightened, put this one on and clamped it just so it wouldn't fall. And then way over in that corner, I put that one on. And I did that just to keep this thing, you know, sitting there so it doesn't fall. So like that was sagging. The roof was sagging, uh, you know, as far as the metal could sag. So uh, everything was sagging a little bit. That made alignment difficult. So back to the roof. So I went ahead and just finger tightened uh, two clamps plus a little, a quarter turn. So finger tighten. And you'll notice the clamp, little end to this, big end to that. So if you flip it, it's not going to self-adjust. It'll adjust wrong. This would be sloppy and that would be too tight. So make sure that you get the clamps the right radius. 
So then I went all the way around and I just finger tightened all of them. You know, put them all in and literally did finger tighten them all. Uh, and then these clamps, you'll notice that they're little clamps. And it was like this at first, right? They're all like weird. And uh, anyway, I put them in. And then once I got it all set, I went ahead and uh, started tightening these. And as I needed, I would push the walls out. You know, I, I can't push them now because I tightened them. But I would push it out. And one I remember was real tight. I had to put a little hammer up in it and uh, the end of a hammer and kind of pry it. And then tighten it down enough so the, uh, the clamps would work right. So, um, so then I just slowly started putting on all the clamps again and tightening them all again. Just make sure this is from the side walls to the uh, roof. It'll always be a little clamp and a big, right? Little radius and a big radius or radii if you want to be real strict. Uh, see, same thing on this side. And this is the angle part. So little radius, big radii, right? Little, big. And these were already welded on. So, and then these are all little on the, on the roof itself. And you just slowly start tightening it and adjusting the, because uh, it won't be true, right? And you'll slowly start uh, truing it up. I hope that helps for those who are struggling with the squareness and the clamps. And uh, I didn't do a walkthrough when I did mine because uh, I saw there was a lot of them. And I assumed somebody would have taken the time to show y'all uh, the real detail part about the clamps. Because that's where the devil is in the detail. And this is uh, the clamping, getting the clamps right, and also tightening them up just enough where you're in control of the squareness. Uh, that's the key. And uh, the roof wasn't square. And I slowly pushed it into square by slow adding all the clamps, first two, one in each corner, and then slowly tightening it all up where I could slowly push it in. And then the last one here, this isn't a true 90 that it's off just a little bit but it's off a little bit probably based on my ground not being even and uh, it's where I had to make up the slack so you know I started in that corner and I went all the way around all the way around and then when I got to the end I wasn't quite square but it didn't matter because I didn't have these tight tight I just had them where I could manipulate it so I ended up scooching this out and uh i do remember having to use the end of my hammer in here and just you know uh, doing that and then i went all the way to there so and, and then i went back through with the final tightening and just used a ratchet and tightened it all all right i hope that's helpful to the folks that have been struggling with squareness and fit and finish uh i hope that gets it done for you yeah i'll have a good day like subscribe bye